Dear students, please note down. The notes of this video lecture are available in the description of video. Please download your notes. Dear students, note down. Today we will discuss another important topic for BSc first year, second year students. Final exam topic that is ambulacral system, water vascular system or hydraulic pressure system. This is a characteristic feature of phylum Echinodermata. In case of sea star, starfish, estuaries, this water vascular system, this ambulacral system, it consists of following parts. Its first part is madriporite. And this madriporite which lies on the upper surface of body, in the central disc, on aboral surface, between two arms. And the arms, two arms in between these two arms, this madriporite, this plate is present. Both arms are named bivium. And this madriporite, which is a calcareous plate that consists of about 250 microscopic pores. And these minute pores, which lead into grooves or pore canals, this madriporite acts as a sieve to filter the water which enters in the body. The first part is madriporite. Very important, very important for short type question, vertical section of madriporite. As we know, it is a calcareous plate which acts as a sieve to filter the water. And this madriporite, it consists of about 250 minute pores and its lining as well as the pore canals internally it also lined by cilia ciliated epithelium is there to conduct the water molecules these pores lead into small grooves or canals these canals are named pore canals and these minute pore canals unite to produce larger tubular structures. These are collecting canals. Finally, these collecting canals open into this bag-like structure. And this swollen bag-like structure, the sac is, it is ampulla. Finally, this ampulla opens into a stone canal which is S shaped canal. The first part is madriporite. That madriporite possesses about 250 minute pores. The pores lead into pore canals and these pore canals unite to produce larger collecting canals. Finally, these collecting canals open into this bag like structure. It is ampulla. And this ampulla, this swollen part ampulla leads into an S shaped, the stone canal. This part is the stone canal which is well supported by calcareous rings. No down, this S shaped canal which is named stone canal or it is madriporic canal. It is named stone canal because internally it is lined by well supported by calcareous rings. That's why it is named stone canal. And this stone canal opens into a central ring canal. This one is, this is the ring ambulacral vessel or it is circular water vessel. It lies in the central disc around the esophagus. And this ring ambulacral vessel possesses internally. Look here, 
इनसाइड दिस रिंग एम्बुलाकरल वेसल वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव सिक्स सेवन एट नाइन इट मीन्स दिस एम्बुलाकरल वेसल इन साइड इट पोजेसिस नाइन स्पेशल टाइप ऑफ स्ट्रक्चर्स दीज आर टिड मैंस बॉडी और डाउन कंपटीशन स्टूडेंट्स और दीज आर रेसिमोस ग्लैंड्स दीज आर नाइन इन नंबर Actually, these tidman bodies are present in pairs, except towards this part in which this stone canal opens. In this side, it is unpaired. Otherwise, these racemose glands or tidman's bodies, these are paired structures. These are nine in number. And these tidman's bodies or these racemose glands. possesses phagocytic cells and these phagocytic cells engulf remove the foreign bodies like bacteria from the water which enters in the body dear students first part is madreporite and madreporite leads into an s shaped madreporic canal or stone canal through this ampulla and no doubt in this stone canal calcareous rings are there and this stone canal opens into this central this circular water vessel or it is ring ambulacral vessel that lies in the central part of body around the esophagus from this ring ambulacral vessel from this circular ring circular vessel One, two, three, four, five radial ambulacral vessels radiate out, and in each arm, in each arm of starfish, one radial ambula ambulacral vessel is present. No doubt, this stone canal opens in this ring or circular water vessel. From this ring ambulacral vessel, one, two, three, four, five ring ambulacral vessels radiate out. In each arm, one radial ambulacral vessel is present, and from these radial ambulacral vessels, it means in each body arm, from this radial ambulacral vessel. four rows no down four rows alternately arranged these podial canals radiate out and these podial canals open into these these structure these are two feet or podia no down in each arm this radial ambulacral vessel gives 1 2 3 4 alternately arranged two rows on both sides means total four rows of podial canals or two feet no down these podial canals these podial canals open in these structure these are two feet or these are podia each tube foot or podium consists of a swollen this swollen ampulla like structure and this swollen sac like structure it is ampulla it leads into a small tubular structure this one is podium and its lower part is small disc like structure that is sucker it means each two foot consists of an ampulla in middle part small tubular podium and its lower part having a small disc that is sucker and these two foot these structures are specially meant for movement and locomotion this entire structure water vascular system it acts like hydraulic pressure system it involves in movements and locomotion of body 
and dear students this entire system water vascular system ambulacral system which is a characteristic feature of a kinodermates starfish that is filled with a special watery fluid and that watery fluid contains water proteins some minerals ions like potassium as well as in this watery fluid silomic cells are present silomocytes are present dear students this is all about water vascular system or ambulacral system or note down hydraulic pressure system of starfish sta c star phylum akinodermata that consists of very important structure that is madreporite it is a disc like structure calcareous structure which is present on upper surface of this central disc and it madreporite lies between two arms of body each madreporite consists of about 250 microscopic pores and the pores lead into fine tubules fine ducts and these grooves or canals are pore canals the pore canals unite to produce collecting canals finally these collecting canals open in this bag like structure it is ampulla that leads into an s shaped the stone canal because it is named as it consists of calcareous rings so it is stone canal or it is madreporic canal this stone canal leads into a circular canal it is circular it is ring ambulacral vessel from this ring ambulacral vessel 1 2 3 4 5 radial ambulacral vessels radiate out one in each arm and each radial canal gives four alternately arranged radial podial canals and each podial canal leads into a tube foot and each tube foot having an ampulla a podium a disc like sucker and this entire system is meant for movements and locomotion of body in tomorrow's lecture we will discuss another important topic for final exam that is hemal and perihemal system of starfish